This video will talk about your egg retrieval. Now I will talk about the specifics, but before I get started, we have Gina here who wants to tell us a little bit about her experience. Hi guys, Gina here, and I'm gonna be talking to you about egg retrieval, what happens before and after. So before, no drinking, no eating, you go into your appointment, they prep you for surgery, mild surgery. Uh, under, they remove the follicles that are in there, then they wheel you back into recovery room and then you just recover and you go home, you make sure you drink a lot of fluids, a lot of Gatorade, um, crackers and stuff like that, salty crackers that help you with the electrolytes. Then you get that call from your nurse practitioner or your doctor saying how many follicles were eggs and matured and then after that you just find out how many follicles were fertilized and that's it, that's egg retrieval. Thanks, Gina. So now, you've taken your trigger shot, you're ready for your egg retrieval. So what we need to do next is the day after you take your trigger shot, you come in for blood work, and then we will have you set up for your egg retrieval the next morning. The night before your egg retrieval, you will be advised to just take one antibiotic pill to prevent infection. You will have more antibiotics to finish after the procedure and we will tell you how to finish those out at the time. And the night before the procedure at midnight, we will ask that you not eat or drink anything that includes gum, hard candy, cough drops, nothing until after your procedure is complete that next morning. Now, the egg retrievals are usually done in the early morning, so hopefully it won't be too long of a span for you. We will give you an arrival time of when to come in. And because the egg retrieval is done under conscious sedation, it's really important that you have an escort there with you that is at the facility, on the premises, and ready to drive you home. When you come in for your egg retrieval, you'll come over to the surgery center side of our King of Prussia office. The nurse will get you gowned up. You'll have a locker so you can put your belongings in there if you need to. And then she'll bring you to your pre-op area. At your pre-op area, you will sit, you will talk to the nurse, she'll kind of explain what you should expect that day, and you'll also talk to the physician who's on call that day as well. Then they'll bring you back for your procedure. It is done in the procedure room, and again, you'll be under conscious sedation for the procedure. Now, the egg retrieval takes place under ultrasound guidance. So the vaginal ultrasound probe will go in so they can see the ovaries and the follicles. And there is an aspiration needle that's attached to it. And that aspiration needle will aspirate all the follicular fluid from each follicle that is safely accessible. Now, at that time, embryology is there on hand and they'll go through all the follicular fluid and they'll count how many eggs that are retrieved that day. Once the egg retrieval is over, you'll come back to your chair, and that'll be now your post-op area, where you'll get to relax for about usually an hour or so until you feel well enough to go home. Now, when you wake up from the procedure, you just might be a little sleepy or, or groggy, but again, usually after an hour or so, you're ready to get going. You will know how many eggs were retrieved before you leave the office, and the nurse will go over some post-op instructions with you because you do have some activity restrictions after your egg retrieval. So no driving the day of your egg retrieval, no strenuous exercise or activity. We will ask that you finish out your antibiotic. The nurse will review with you that you should call the office with any concerns or problems and remind you that we have a physician on call 24 hours a day. So if you ever have any issues or concerns, you should contact the office. Now you should experience some cramping or discomfort after the egg retrieval, sometimes even some, some spotting or, or bleeding. So that is common, but typically does subside. But again, anything concerning, you call the office and we're happy to talk to you. Now that your eggs have been retrieved, it is also the day that sperm is needed as well. So your partner will need to produce a sample that day for the sperm to be fertilized with the egg. If you're using donor sperm, that donor sperm should already be at the King of Prussia office. Before I move on to embryo development, we have a word from Amy about her experience with her egg retrieval. 
Hi, my name is Amy and I am a former patient with RMA of Philadelphia and I'm here today to talk to you about the egg retrieval. I know that any surgery can feel daunting or scary or overwhelming and I'm here to tell you about the experience that RMA provides. So when you go for your egg retrieval, the first thing that I definitely noticed was how calming and quiet and peaceful the surgery center is. It's a welcoming place as soon as you enter and the nurses and staff back there make it even more welcoming because they are wonderful. And their job that day is to take care of you. They are so kind and you get covered with a warm blanket right away and get to put your feet up in a comfy chair and just relax as you prepare for your surgery. And the doctor who's on duty that day will come in and explain everything that's going to happen. The anesthesiologist will do the same. And then once it's time to be wheeled into surgery, you know, everything's very easy. I know I personally fell asleep immediately, so I was basically unaware of, you know, anything going on. But they try to make it as warm and comfortable in the surgery room as possible as well. Um, and if you're lucky enough to get Dr. Friedman as your surgeon, he may even play you some fantastic music. That is his specialty. So... And then after the surgery, you get as much time as you need to recover. Again, you're covered with a warm blanket with your feet up. You get to snooze until you're ready to wake up. And then you get snacks, which is, who can say no to snacks? It's really nice. Your loved one, partner, whomever's with you gets to come back and hang out with you as you recover. And the nurses take great care of you. The doctor will come and let you know exactly how many eggs they retrieved, which is amazing in the news that everybody wants to hear immediately. But moral of my story is don't let the experience make you too nervous because RMA really does do everything they can to make it an easy and relaxing and peaceful experience. So good luck. Thank you, Amy. So now tune in to our next video and we'll talk about embryo development.